Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This time, showing you how I got this funky updo. It's time to get funky. Per usual, I'm starting off with freshly washed and conditioned hair. And I'm going to make a U part going from the upper top part of my head to the other side. I'll be using the highest point of my eyebrows as a guide. Next, I'm going to use a detangler. I'm using the Crema Nature Leave-In Conditioner Spray. And I'm going to spray that all over the bottom portion of my hair and start to detangle. After the bottom portion of my hair is completely detangled, I'm going to clip that back and moving to the front portion of my hair, repeating the same step. To style the top portion of my hair, I'll be using Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie and Coconut Oil to seal in the moisture. Before beginning the twist, it's important to figure out which side you want your curls to fall. I wanted mine to fall on the left side, so I had to push everything over towards that side so that when I began my twist, I can twist with everything falling in that direction. After you finish detangling, you can begin doing your twist. Now you can do this just as you do any of your old twist outs using any of your favorite butters or curl enhancers, but of course remember to seal with your favorite oil. The most important tip for this step is to remember to have your twists going forward so that when they dry, they are cascading in your face. I decided to go back and split a few of my twists. Some of them were looking a little bit chunky and I had to get up extra early the next day so I wanted to make sure that they were dry. This next step is very optional. If you twist the base of the twist and clip it with the duck pin, then you can cheat shrinkage and you'll have longer and beautiful twist. Now that that's done, on to the next emoji hair flip. Now I'm beginning to focus on the back. Using my coconut oil, I'm massaging that in. Because this is a partial protective style, I just want to make sure that everything is sealed and protected. I'm also using the Shea Moisture Reconstructive Conditioner just for added moisture. Next, I'll be using the Curls Goddess Curls to act as a gel in order to help lay down my hair before I begin the flat twist. To be honest, I really suck at doing flat twists and braids, so I'm praying that this comes out good. You want to begin to brush the product in, smoothing it in, and begin the twist starting from one side of your head and going to the other. Other. Ah. 
When you've reached the end of the twist, you want to complete twisting to the end of your hair. And then you want to grab a bobby pin and pull it taut to the rest of the twist. Here is the completed set. Everything is ready to go. And now I'm off to bed. Like a thug. Hello. The next morning, you simply take the clips out and unravel your twist. You want to fluff them out, pick them apart, pull them apart. I was going to use a pick, but I decided to just use my fingers. Also, you could choose to grab a toothbrush and lay them edges down. Here's the completed style, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any other questions or styles that you would like me to do. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you so much again for watching. Hello!